Impresso is an interdisciplinary research project funded by the Swiss National Science Foundation. Impresso enriches historical newspapers with the help of text mining. To do this, a team of computational linguists, digital humanists, designers, and historians from Switzerland and Luxembourg work together with a consortium of libraries, newspapers, and experts in media history. Newspapers are mirrors of past societies. They reflect the political, moral, and economic environments in which they were produced. They are rich, but also challenging historical sources, which help us to reconstruct how people in the past experienced their present. Their value is reflected in large-scale digitization efforts by libraries and commercial operators. Through digitization, historical newspapers are transformed into digital objects. The Impresso project integrates natural language processing techniques and interface design to facilitate seamless navigation between distant and close reading and to allow a critical assessment of patterns and biases in the corpus. Just as we mix ingredients and knead them together to form a dough, we can transform our data into different shapes and inspect it from different perspectives. Impresso's work plan involves three steps. The first is data acquisition, which means obtaining digitized newspaper sources from cultural heritage institutions and pre-processing these in order to make them ready for large-scale processing. Once the data is ready, we apply text mining techniques to extract information from the textual content of the newspapers. This process produces a semantic annotation layer on top of the sources. Finally, this layer can be searched, browsed, and visualized with the help of our interface. To get a better idea of what Impresso does, let's take the example of the Battle of Arnhem in September 1944. In what was the largest airborne operation of its time, Allied troops attempted to advance into Germany through the Dutch border region, but ultimately failed. How has this event been covered by the press in Switzerland and Luxembourg since 1944? There are multiple ways to study the newspaper coverage of the event with the help of natural language processing. Within Impresso, lexical processing determines the language of texts, normalizes historical spelling variations, and computes OCR quality scores. With named entity recognition, classification, and linking, we can automatically identify people, institutions, and locations in texts and trace their occurrences across the corpus. Topic modeling clusters reveal themes across newspaper articles based on the probability that they share the same vocabulary. We compute topic models for the whole corpus, for specific time periods, and for individual newspapers. Text reuse detects and aligns similar text passages and yields clusters of reused passages which are embedded within longer documents. Word embeddings determine related words using a multi-dimensional vector space and are used to yield keyword suggestions and information about common OCR misspellings. Ngrams reveal the frequencies of single or multiple words over time and enable their comparison. A visual search engine complements text search and makes visual elements such as advertisements, photographs, drawings, and maps searchable by publication date, keyword search in captions, visual similarity, and image upload. Now that we have introduced all the ingredients, we can move ahead and see how they can be combined. We start with a simple keyword search for Arnhem. Topics can be used to filter unrelated articles. In this case, we retrieve many articles about the football club, Vitesse Arnhem. By applying additional filters for time, article type, topic, and country of publication, we can create collections of articles. In this case, we choose all non-sports articles which mention Arnhem and are published in Switzerland from 1944 onwards. Let's take a look at one of them. A table of contents on the left and page miniatures on the right offer some contextual information about the article, as does the overview of named entities, 
indication for detected text reuse, and topics. A recommendation system suggests other relevant articles. Is there a difference in the coverage of the Battle of Arnhem and the Battle of the Bulge, which began in December 1944? Does the coverage change over time or from one newspaper to the next? Who are the key actors? To find out, we can compare queries or collections and move seamlessly between distant and close reading. Impresso was designed to integrate text mining and design with the aim of enriching historical newspaper collections, bridging silos between them, and opening them up for search and discovery. This was a very quick overview of our ongoing work with Impresso. We invite you to take a moment to try out the interface and find out more about the project.